All right, it looks like it's about that time to get started. So um, welcome everyone to Mortar Minutes. We'll be um, going into Mortar's Pocket Knife, the design rooms. So just um, so everyone's aware, your camera is off, your mic is also muted, and feel free to ask questions anytime using the Q&A or even the chat feature. Uh, Sitraka and I will actually try to hold off on answering them until the end though. So, but as you're going through, please feel free to ask away. All right, so Sitraka, let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen so we can show our videos. All right. All right, there we go. I don't even know if I wanted to do this. Oh, no. How's Keep it going? sharing the screen. Keep sharing the screen. I know. <laughs> well, it's only, it'll be very short and sweet, but then we, at least we can show people our faces and that we're actually real people on the other side of these computers. So, uh, well, hi, everyone. My name's Lindsay Rogers, and I'm Mortar's Community Manager, and I'm also a Customer Success Manager. And then I'm joined today with Sutraka. He's a Customer Success Manager as well. Um, and... Oh, go ahead. Do you have something? No, I was just going to say, pardon the uh, the boring background. Whatever. I've got a bed and dry <laughs> background, so can't get much worse working from home. <laughs> um, I may need to hang some pictures next time. Well, you've got two weeks until the next webinar, so get to get. There you go. <laughs> um, so just so, so you know, for attending today's webinar, we're actually offering a personalized discussion on ways that your teams can actually use these personal profiles and the design rooms. So at the end of the webinar, um, we'll be sending you a recording um, as usual, and we'll also include a link to my calendar. So if you feel that your team could really get a lot out of these, what are, I'm sorry, these personal profiles and design rooms, set up a quick chat with us. We would love to go into how your teams can specifically use them for their job, your company, and all that. So um, really quick too, I just wanna to say thank you again for joining us today. Um, so Chuck and I, we're going to do a deep dive into personal profiles as well as design rooms. And like I said, how you can actually use them. So as we talk through some of these tools, um, maybe jot down uh, the ways that you find uh, that your coworkers, your colleagues, or maybe even your clients can use these as well. So make sure to jot those down um, as we go through. All right, so we'll stop sharing our screen here and go over to the Mortar website. Let's see here, just give me one minute. Yeah, and one great thing too about um, Design Room is that there's no one right way to use them. Um, hopefully, Lindsay will be able to share the, <laughs> there you go. Um, there's no one real way to use them. Um, you know, there's many different types of applications. And today we just hope that we can just kind of give you a glimpse on what you can do um, in design rooms. So, yes. uh, all right, so get started. Right, First I'm of all, one of the things about design rooms is that you do need a personal profile to have one. And it's very easy to sign up for a personal profile. And we can, we will definitely show you that at the end of this um, conversation as well. But Lindsay just signed into her design room. And as you can see, um, if she goes on the drop down, there are a few different um, things there that you can see. So you can go directly to your profile dashboard. You can go directly to the design room as well. And as you can see right there, she has a switch profile. That, that just means if you have a company profile, um, your personal profile becomes the administrator profile for that. So that's just an easy way for you to kind of toggle between both the company profile and your personal profile. And then of course you have the settings and the notifications where you can get notifications if someone has added you to a design room um, or collaborated with you in a design room. So just kind of a few things you can check right away from that drop down menu on the top right. So if we keep going down, so you can notice that we have two tabs. Um, on design room, we have the dashboard, and of course, we have the design rooms on the right. So the dashboard, this is where you can see the companies that you follow. So you can follow companies on Mortar, um, and then you can also see the recently added pictures from those companies that you follow that are also on the bottom there. If you keep scrolling down, you will actually see 
also your start images. So we have added functionality to the site where you can start interacting with the pictures on Mortar. And the great thing about starring the image is that, hey, maybe you like an image and you don't really know where that image belongs. Just start really quick so you can have it in your personal dashboard and then you can add it to a specific design room from there. So it's a quick, easy way to save images um, in, in a flash, basically. So. <laughs> All right, so we'll go to the design rooms tab. Uh, so a little bit about design rooms. Um, design rooms, this is where you can save images you find on Mortar. And the great thing is that you can also save uh, PDFs and also images from off of Mortar. So if you find an image, say on Google Images or Bing Images or whatever, if you have a link to that image, you can put that image inside a design room right away as well. So kind of giving you that extra functionality. Um, you can keep a design room to yourself, so it's private and not share it with anybody, or you can invite someone into a design room and that's how you can share the contents of that design room with your colleagues, coworkers, and so on. So, um, and also one other quick thing is that you may have noticed that there is design rooms you own and design rooms you're in. The design rooms you own are design rooms that you created and you invited people in and the and the design rooms you're in are those that are created by others and that have invited you to participate in so th that's kind of how we um differentiate both of them okay thanks for that satraka so i'll go ahead into one of the design rooms that i that i own and um so just a few different ways that you can actually use these design rooms is it can be a place just to save some stuff. Maybe you're exploring and clicking around mortar and you see something that you like or just something that you know you'll want to recall at just some later point. You can save it to your design room very easily, no obligations, just truly click and save it. Uh, you can use also design rooms kind of like a digital pinup board. So gather anything that inspires you from mortar. As Satraka said before, you can even uh, pull something from the web or from your camera roll. And just anything you want grouped together on a board, um, you can save it right here and you can share it with someone else. Or um, if you want, you can just keep it to yourself until you're ready to do so. Um, and Lindsay, um, just really quick, can, can you click the add files button okay. really quickly? There you go. Yeah, so that's, kind of how it looks like when you want to add something. So you can browse pictures right away, um, or you can even upload photos of your own from your computer or, or like your phone or anything like that. And then there's the link photos one right there where you can put a link to like Google images or anything like that. So mm -hmm. that's yeah. kind of how you add those different files. Yeah, truly very easy to add them in here. And you can even do so straight from the Mortar website. Uh, we'll show you that too in just a little bit. But as you're browsing through Mortar, there are buttons at the bottom that you can very easily save into your design rooms and just create one on the fly as well. So, all right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and click on an image down here. So um, just some information about when you save an image from Mortar into your design room is it actually captures all the information that this company has shared, not only about the project, but also about the photo itself. So on here, you can see that um, they've added a tag, Anderson Windows and Doors. They've gone ahead and tagged their product. And because it's saved from Mortar, you can see all the information that you'll need about it. You can click here for more product info. You can even very easily view the BIM file or even send them a message very quickly as well. So easy to do all straight from that photo. And then over here, you can see even information, like I was saying, about the company and this project. So the great thing about saving from Mortar is it truly captures all of that so that you can look at it at any time. And you can even comment directly on the photo right here too. So, and what I wanna do as well is I'm gonna go ahead and select this photo. So this image I actually pulled from Google, um, just so I could save it in my design room and kind of get a little bit of feedback about it. So one thing you'll notice here on the side is that Sitraka and I have already commented and started discussing this image. Um, I went ahead, like I said, and pulled this from Google. So Satraka was so kind to find um, a manufacturer here on Mortar who actually offers um, a desk system uh, very similar to what I pulled just from the internet. So I'll go ahead and open this, head over to that link. 
And he was able to put a link directly to an image from Mortar right in the comment section. So by doing this, it makes it very easily easy for me for us to kind of collaborate and discuss what it is that we would like to see for this project and just kind of give some feedback back and forth to each other. So I'll go ahead and head back. And then um, back here in the um, design room, I'll select another image just to show you a little bit more information. Um, I know I was saying before that this truly captures everything that you'll need um, regarding you know, this photo, all the information. And one thing too is um, we, we have partnerships as I'm sure um, some of you may be aware with uh, BIM, um, but also with Material Bank as well. And like I was saying, all of that information will be captured right in here, right here in that tag and you can actually send a message as well. So I wanted to um, share that with you too. All right, so Citraka. All right, yeah, and so uh, just kind of going back to when Lindsay showcased that iSpace photo, one thing you can do is when you do open that link, you can actually save that picture into this design room that you are collaborating in. So you can start, um, even commenting on that as well. So it's just a quick and easy way for you to kind of uh, flow basically um, your work. Yep, so right there, so you can do save and then just select the design room that it belongs to. You can even do a small comment um, and then click that add and then it just adds to the design room right away. So it's just a quick, easy, simple way to continue the conversation when it comes to um, adding pictures and looking for what you really want in a design room. And one thing we didn't really mention is that you can comment in individual pictures, but you can also comment in a design room as a whole. So if you go down, yep, right there, you can just comment as a whole as well and attach files um, within that as well. And if you're into emojis, there are also emojis there for you to use too. So. Um, just kind of a little fun stuff that we can do. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Put one of those on there. <laughs> um, so now we're going to go into some, some various applications that you can do uh, when it comes to a uh, design room. So um, for design rooms, you know, it's collecting someone else's inspiration, but maybe it's also the reverse and you are the one who needs to know what someone else is thinking about a project or an aspect of a project. Uh, you can create a design room and invite them to share images and thoughts with you. Um, if you a, are a part of a project management team, um, you can use the design room to communicate with teams about the status of a project. If you have a bid you're trying to accomplish or something like that, you can just put all the images you want into a design room, send them the link, they can sign in and just do a quick presentation right then and there. Um, so it just makes it a lot easier for you to interact with people and just an easy way to save the images you need in one primary location. Yes, thank you for that. And another way that Mortar's design rooms can be used is um, specifically for a sales team. So this one might be a little bit um, unexpected, but we've heard about some clever ways that sales teams are actually using design rooms. So whether or not your company is actually on mortar, a sales rep can actually create a design room, fill it with images, kind of like we've done here, and um, share it with their prospect. So maybe the portfolio they want to share is different than what's actually on your company's website or even in their marketing materials, or maybe it just shows one specific type of application or service. Um, we've even seen people use it where they have in progress photos or before and after shots. Um, you know, the sales teams can use these design rooms to actually share that information with prospects. So I'll go ahead and use this feature um, export. And this is where you have the option to show presentation mode. Um, you also have the option to include any of the comments you've made, uh, but with presentation mode, it looks like this. So it kind of takes away anything else except for that photo and your sales team or truly anybody else can go ahead and just very easily share the images that they've put together in this design room. So it's truly a great feature. And Mortar also has an app that's available. So back when trade shows were a thing, which hopefully we'll get back to that, you know, sometime down the road, but sales teams could actually walk the floor, pull up the Mortar app and go ahead and share their design room with any prospects or people that they just wanted to kind of engage with. 
So, um, you know, Mortar's uh, personal profiles and design rooms are really useful when it comes to situations like that. Yeah, and Mortar is also one great way you can just make it a virtual showroom as well. Um, and so if you just want to, you know, it goes back to sharing um, a design room with others is that you can just put a bunch of your work in one design room and then just share it that way as well. So just make it, make, makes it easy, easy to, to showcase your company's um, services and things. You know, like let that. us show you quickly too, um, how to add people to collaborate. So you can see here that I've added just a few of my coworkers to collaborate on this project. Um, had I not done that, this would be totally personal and private. But to easily do that, you hit this uh, plus button and you can just copy and paste their email address straight in here and even send a little message and then uh, they'll be a part of it. So very easy to invite people to kind of participate and go back and forth with you on um, design rooms. Awesome. Yeah. So however you use them, you know, one thing is, you know, just remember, you know, get the images out there, you know, share your thoughts, share your vision for the project um, and let everyone else do the same. Um, design rooms make it easy to allow a client to weigh in on things and without all that, without having to do calls or like emailing back and forth and stuff like that. So we try, we try to make it easy for you to interact with one another um, when it comes to making a project come to life. So, mm -hmm. and remember, you can always repurpose and reuse them, you know, add and remove people, add and remove images, edit descriptions, whatever you want to do. So that's kind of one of the things that we um, add to personal profiles on Mortar. Mm -hmm. And there's also a feature up here at the top where you can search through your design rooms. Um, when you first get started, you may only have one or two design rooms that you've created. But as you can see here at Mortar, we actually use these to complete um, tasks within Mortar, kind of share photos back and forth with each other. So as you start doing that, you, you really start to have a huge amount of these design rooms. So if I, e if I very easily needed to um, you know, find one, we, we put this um, search bar here just so that you don't have to scroll through and actually look for them. You can truly just do a quick search and find it. And then there's also this feature here, edit. So like I said, as you start to do this, you'll start, you'll get a large amount of these design rooms. So if you want to put your most important ones at the top, you can very easily just re remove them like that. Or not remove them, but move them around like that. <laughs> or you can remove them too, you know, if it's, yeah. if it's really, really bad. <laughs> yeah, you can delete them if you feel like you made a mistake or something because your design rooms, um, they're unlimited. So there's no, the personal profiles are completely free. Design rooms are also unlimited and, um, you know, this is truly just for anybody who's in that commercial construction and design field, that industry. Um, you know, as you can see, there's no software to load. It doesn't matter if you use a Mac or a PC or if you're G Suite or even MS Teams, um, there's nothing tricky to learn. You can find what you need, save what you'd like, and then also have the opportunity to really collaborate with other people. Um, so. So Traka, anything else you wanted to touch on about these um, design rooms? No, I don't think so. But there is, there is one really good question that just came in. Oh, good. Um, so that is, do clients need to have accounts on Mortar to be invited slash collaborate to design rooms? And the answer to that is yes. But the good news is that it's very, very easy to sign up for a personal profile. So um, yeah, I think Lindsay's going to log out and we'll just kind of show you where that happens. To sign up for a personal profile, just right there at the homepage. So just put your email address and password, um, check that you're not a robot, and then you can just go ahead and create the profile. So it's very easy for them to create a personal profile if um, you want to collaborate with them. Yeah, and we've um, added the capability to log in just with your, with your Google email address or even through your Facebook profile. So as I'm sure everybody knows, with having, having those two added options just makes, makes it even easier to sign up for something like this. Yeah, good question. Yeah, great question. Um, any other questions? Let's see. So, um, see. Not that I'm seeing. Yeah, how about, um, I did see, um, maybe this is um, kind of a duplicate, but do you need a personal profile to use a design room? And the answer would be yes. I think we had touched on that a little bit with the last question, but to um, invite somebody to collaborate with you on your design rooms, they do need to have that personal profile. 
but lucky for you and for them, they are completely free. Um, we will never charge for that. So um, it's you know very easy to sign up as you can see on here and then they can collaborate with you on this and even download me the app too, which is also free. Um, it translates over not only from the mortar website, but also into the app as well. So very easy to um, use that. Good. Yeah. Nice. All right, well, I think that's all of our questions. Um, I really thought that we would use a full 30 minutes for this one, but hopefully, um, you know, if anybody out there, I hope you found this um, really useful information. And of course, if um, you'd like to set up a time where we can really dive into how your team can specifically use Mortar's personal profiles and design rooms, I'll be sending out my calendar. Um, you can select any date and time that works best for you. And Sitchak and I, we would love to chat with you and maybe even your teams as well about um, you know, how they can use this and how you can make your job even more efficient out there. So, um, and then let's see here. Like I said too, we are recording this. So we'll go ahead and send um, the recording out in the follow-up email as well. And then lastly, I always want to just mention that Mortar is very active on our social pages. So we would love if everyone out there could follow us and we are always um, putting updates out there too, different partnerships that we have or you know, cool subscribers that we have on the, the website. You'll even get some Insta stories from me, your community manager. So make sure to like and follow us. And then of course, if you have any questions, let us know. And I think- And it looks like we have one more question actually. Oh, good. Yeah. So uh, it says, is this secure? No one can enter your design room without your permission. That is correct. All design rooms are private until you invite someone into that design room. So no one can actually search for you when you have a personal profile. So like say, you know, Satraka, no one can actually search for me on Mortar when it comes to personal profile. So the only way they can find you is if they, is if you invite them to the design room. So yeah, it's, it's it is secure. Wow. Good, great question. And then, um, yep, there's also one other question as well. Uh, does my company need to be on Mortar in order for us to do that chat? Nope, not at all. Mm -hmm. We are open to any discussion. So if you know of anybody else who would like to have a conversation about uh, mortar or even the design rooms, um, you know, we're always open for that discussion. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really great question too. Um, yeah, I feel like when somebody is looking at mortar and how we're going through it, you definitely, your company doesn't need to be on this. This is for you to use, maybe even in your personal life too. You know, maybe on the side, you're a commercial real estate, in commercial real estate or whatever that might be. You can use mortar um, no matter if your company is on or not. So, and I know personally, I, I love to just kind of browse. I was a huge Pinterest user back in the day. And now it's just so easy to kind of go through and browse, you know, different hotels or restaurants or even just some cool spaces here on Mortar. So definitely take a look at it, you know, very, very easy to use. All right, any other questions? I feel like every time I say that, then a question comes in. So oh. like, <laughs> should I say it one more time and we'll get some more questions? <laughs> It looks Anyone? like that's it though. Yep. Bueller, Bueller. Just kidding. All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate your time. And then we'll see you in two weeks for our next webinar. All see right. Ya. Bye, everyone.